on one of our previous video we talked about american dream and but to our luck this time we're getting to ride this motorcycle and review it it's not only american dream this motorcycle is dream for all the people around the globe at least to ride once in a lifetime and no surprise it's made in america it is one of these brands making all the american proud and this is not only motorcycle or it would be wrong to say it's only motorcycle it's harley and they make harley davidson for sure Harley Davidson, when you hear the name, everybody knows about this name already, but you, don't, you might not know how it started. So it started in a little shade in 1903 by two friends. One of the engineers was William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson, and they started a prototype already in the little shade. And later in 1907, one of the Davidson brother, Walter, he joined in too to help out with the production and marketing. And after that, they started producing this motorcycle. And if you do want to know more about the history, there's this series in YouTube you can watch. It's called Harley and the Davidson. It has shown properly how it started, what's all the obstacles, what's all the problems, ups and downs they had during all the process. If you do watch the series, you might be able to know all the process and all the cons and pros to get the company what it is now, Harley Davidson, worldwide known by every motorcycle riders and loved by every motorcycle riders and it's a dream motorcycle for everyone today we have a chance to review harley davidson iron 883 motorcycle we are really excited about it let's start with its heart the engine the name itself speaks out loud about the bike being 883cc engine with double cylinder, four valve per cylinder, air cooled, fuel injected engine producing maximum power of 50 bhp at 5750 rpm and 69 Nm at 3750 rpm. And being said it's fuel injected, it means you don't have to mess around with carburetors like in older cruiser motorcycles. And also company claims the top speed being 200 km per hour, which I do feel it when I ride it. Now after the power being said, let's shed some light on its looks, styling and some more features. Let's start with the seating position. Harley is Harley for sure, you can feel it once you sit in the saddle. The seating position really feels comfy and with the height of only 760mm, pretty much all riders can put both feet on the ground without any difficulties and the handling position does make you feel a bit manly keeping it very comfy at the same time with the arms stretched chest out does makes you feel like you are in Harley about ground clearance it's 140 millimeter high which means it can be drove around with no problem in our road even with potholes and little obstacles but surely it's not made for extreme roads or off-roading Also being Harley, one of these strong powerful motorcycle built on mild steel tubular frame weighing up to 255 kilograms which is heavy and of course it's heavy because it's Harley. Another beautiful thing is the tank. It complements for the bike a bit more to its looks with the capacity of 12.5 liters with the eagle and iron shield graphics. Also comes with comfy one seater seat is bubble tuck and road seat which is optimized for all day comfort and we all know Harley is a loud heavy powerful and performing motorcycle and that loud but orgasmic sound comes from black staggered shorty exhaust with dual mufflers giving out signature sound of Harley H for Harley and H for heavy goes along with this beast head to head also the suspension provided are to be the best to make this heavy body work in perfection with the use of 39 mm Showa front forks with cartridge damping technology along with the coilover preload dual adjustable rear socks also comes with rear sock adjustment wrench with 
this amount of power and weight it needs a very decent braking system to keep it safe which hardly iron 83 has achieved with the use of 292 mm size disc for both front and rear with dual piston for front and single piston for rear to provide the safety even more thus comes along with a strong and mean looking black 9 spoke alloy wheels for front and rear equipped with 19 inch for front and 16 inch rear tire one surprisingly awesome feature is its dash which displays lots of infos about bike for example autometer speedometer tachometer triple meter stand alarm low fuel indicator low oil indicator low battery indicator and much more that's a lot of infos on this little device so that's pretty impressive by all this it's already one good motorcycle but for the road still needs light which harley has used to match the aggressive look of the whole bike with bulb and reflector type headlight with led tail and side lights also comes with a chop rear fender adding more to it looks For someone like me, the name Harley Davidson is already enough to purchase or love this motorcycle. And if you have second thoughts about it, I have explained the details and specs about this bike to make sure why is this bike so popular and perfect. And I can understand it's a very expensive bike in our market and I'm pretty sure only a handful of people could afford it and they will for sure. And again, if you do love a motorcycle like I do, but you can't afford it, they do sell a lot of merchandises like jackets, gloves, helmets, our t-shirts and a lot of other stuff which you can buy it and be a part of the family and also ps if you start comparing harley motorcycle with other motorcycle it will be wrong because harley doesn't just make motorcycles they make harleys and it's a piece of art